Welcome to this Qigong routine. This one will help you improve your energy. It also is a nice flow to tap into all your internal organs by stretching them along the meridians. Let's start in our Wuji stance. Knees slightly bent, chest tall, hands float. Start to sink the breath. We're breathing naturally, calmly through the nose. If you're able to, keep your mouth gently closed throughout this practice. Over time, your breathing will become deeper. We'll start by inhaling, reaching the arms up, pressing overhead, and then lowering back down. Inhale as the hands float up, turn the palms away as they cross your face, and push up towards the sky. This move is called supporting the sky. We're floating down. Inhale as you lift up. Continue that inhale as you press. And then exhale as the arms float down. This move is great for relieving fatigue. It helps to regulate your internal organs. Just focus on your breath. Move at your own pace with this routine. Hands float down. Lift up. Push away, get a little stretch through the arms, stretch through the spine. Feet are grounded into the ground. Hands float back down. We're gonna have eight exercises in this routine. This is your first one. Should be lengthening with each repetition, getting a little deeper. Floating down, hands should be coming light and easy. And hands float back down to your Wuji stance. Sink the breath. Next move, we're gonna rotate. So hands come together, palms to face. Make an L shape with your right hand. Twist to the right, straighten your right arm. Left arm pulls back like you're pulling a bow. Hands come together at the chest, just below the chest. Now switch, right arm pulls back like a bow. Left arm pushes straight, looking between that L and your fingers. Inhale in, exhale, rotate through the spine, lengthen through the arms, gaze is out over that straight hand. We're drawing a bow here. This move is often called the Shaolin Archer. Helps to improve circulation of oxygen by moving energy through the heart and the lungs. Reaching, reaching through that straight arm, pulling back. You're pulling a bow and arrow. Inhale as you gather. Exhale as you twist. Lengthen through your arms. Eyes gaze over the straight arm. Hands together and float down to your Wuji stance. This routine is called Bao Dua Jen. Next move, right hand pushes down, left arm reaches up for the sky. Stretching through the arm, stretching through the spine, hands cross in the middle. Now the right arm will push up, left hand pushes down towards the earth. This move is called hold up a single hand. 
I like to also call it reach for the sky and push to the earth. Inhale to center. Exhale as you push the arms away, stretching through those meridians, those energy lines throughout your arms. Slowly sink the center of gravity as you come in and lengthen through the spine as you press the hands away. Inhale in as the palms cross. Exhale, lengthen. This move is good for the spleen, the stomach, the entire gastrointestinal tract. regulate digestion while also energizing the body. Float the hands down, a couple breaths in your Wuji stance. Hands float together, palms face towards you, slightly up. We're going to twist to the right. As we do, rotate the palms away, looking up slightly. Your arms make a big circle. So you're holding that circle as you come in. Continue the circles, you rotate left, but rotate the arms up and away. Keeping this hoop the entire time. We're just rotating through the arms as you push up and away. Inhale to center. Exhales, you push away. This move is called cow gazes at the moon. Helps increase energy of your chi and blood back to your head. It can help alleviate high blood pressure. It's a nice move to add some rotation throughout your spine while stretching your arms. Big twist, keeping that hoop, but pushing up and away as you lengthen. Back to center, hands float down to Wuji. Next one is going to be lowering the head and hips. So bring your right arm down to the side. Left arm reaches up overhead. We're going to side bend to the right and lengthen with that left arm out and over, reaching the right arm down towards the ground. Go easy with this one at first. We'll switch sides. Now we're going to the left as the left arm comes down. Right arm reaches up. Just go to your capacity. As with all side bending movements, we're trying to lengthen out of that side that we're reaching up with so you're not collapsing down into the spine that your side you're bending towards. And as you go, the side you're bending towards, lift that heel up off the ground. So my left heel's lifted a little bit here. Your left heel's lifted here since you're mirroring me. And let's go back to the right. This is a nice stretch for the spine. reduces tension in the nervous system and helps stretch the side bodies. Just moving back and forth. You can make it fluid like a wave. You can hold for a little bit longer if you need to. Whatever feels right in your body. Try to get deeper with each repetition, but be careful to protect your back and your spine as you move through the motions. Arms up, and we'll float the arms down, scanning the body, hands come back to Wuji. Next 
next exercise, we'll bring the arms out to the side, lengthen up out of your body a little bit, bring the hands together, start to lower down as you push the arms back, reaching the hands towards the ground, lifting back up. Arms float out to the sides, arms come together, and lower, sink the hips as low as you feel comfortable. It's a nice move. Strengthen the legs, stretch the spine, but stay within your own ability. Don't force any movements. You can stay up high if you need to. Just add the arms. Or if you're feeling good today, try to get a little deeper, reaching those hands down towards the ground. Dropping the hips down towards the ground. Strengthen the legs. This move is nice for the kidneys and the adrenal glands. deeper with each repetition really sink really feel that energy throughout your legs through your spine arms should feel light like they're floating now we're increasing our strength our vitality energy it's all composes for chi side and down to your Wuji stance. Find a couple breaths here. Your breath's always there for you to revisit. You can always find this stance. Bring the feet a little bit wider apart. Make, clench your fists, your thumb inside your hands. A nice strong fist. Hands come down towards the hips. We're going to punch one arm out. Pulling that hand back punching the opposite arm. Driving out, so you're sending the energy out through your arms as you punch. Other arms pulled in towards the hips. You should feel the chi up from your feet into your body. You feel it fly out through your hands, through your eyes as they gaze forward ahead. Good strong punch here. Good strong clench of the fist. Hips are active, the legs are strong. Just moving back and forth. Exhale as you punch. Inhale in, exhale punch. Float back down. Bringing the feet closer together again. Hands are gonna come up along your kidneys and your lower back. Hold this strong there. We're gonna raise up onto our toes and we're gonna vibrate down, bouncing into the heels eight times. So it's a lift, dropping down, slamming into your heels, eight bounces. Feel the vibration throughout your body. We're using shaking here to refresh the internal organs. We're using the bounce as a massage to our internal organs. You should feel a nice vibration throughout the body. If it hurts your feet, just don't bounce quite as hard. Arms float back out. Let's close this, close this routine by reaching the arms out to the sides, floating down the center of the body, pulling down the sky as you reach, lengthen, feel that energy, and pull all that energy down towards the midline of your body. We start to close out our practice. Head should feel a little more clear. Body should feel a little more light. You should feel energized.
Both the hands back down. Do your Wuji stance. Sink the breath. Check in with your body as you sink your breath. Regular practice of this routine prepares you for the awakened dragon of your chi. Practice it often. We all need some dragon awakening. You should feel energized. Feel powerful. That's your chi. Drop the hands. Let's float the hands together. Down to prayer. And we bow to close out our practice. Feel free to shake out the wrists. Move around a little bit. You can finish your practice here. Or if you're up for it, I've got a little closing routine. It's tapping of the hands. So we're going to do 50 taps of each exercise. First one between the thumbs. Tapping between the thumbs. Relax the shoulders. When you get to 50, we'll switch sides. Now we're tapping the other side, so just rotate the hands. You do 50 taps of each routine, of each exercise, I should say. I like this one because it stimulates acupuncture points in the hands. Now we'll chop the pinky side of the hands, that meaty part just along your pinky. Here we feel a little tension. It should feel pretty good. 50 taps here, then we'll go to the thumb side, that meaty part outside of your thumb. You can move the hands around here. If anything's painful, just tap a little less, do less. Feels pretty good, hit a little harder. We're waking energy between the hands, now between the fingers. Fingers should be relaxed as you tap between each finger. When you get to 50, we'll rotate the hands slightly and tap the fingers again. This is a great stress relieving routine. Just this tapping exercise it only takes a minute or two. You can do it throughout your day to relax the hands, relax any tension. Now we'll tap the fingertips, just the tips, the ends of each finger. Feel that energy between the hands. Now we'll tap the back of the hands together, back of the palms, up and down. Hands should be relaxed. Drop your shoulders, don't shrug them up. Arms should be relaxed, just feel that energy in the hands. Switch sides, tap the other hand on top. Nice and easy, should feel pretty good. Shake the wrist out, shake it out, throw it away. Move the fingers, circle the wrists a little bit, each direction. And that's your little hand tapping routine to close out this practice. Enjoy your day.